Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are going to talk about autoclickers. Autoclickers macros are things that you are going to use in your game to do tasks for you. Things like fishing, things like buying things from store, more specifically relic store. In this video I will show solutions for whether you are playing on Android or you are playing on the computer. Sadly I have no knowledge of any auto clicker on iPhone, but if you do have a computer you can simply install an Android emulator on your computer and you can still follow the video. So first of all let me show you the solution for Android or your phone. So if you are not using a computer you should go on your phone and you go and open the Play Store. On the Play Store, you actually search for Auto Clicker. I am aware that multiple players might not have their Play Store in English, like a lot of people can have it on their own language that is not English. So, to make sure that you have the right application, I have a link in the description of this video with the direct link to this application. And the application should be this one, Auto Clicker, Automatic App, and in other languages might have a different name, but the link in the description will take you directly to this place. So, after you are here, you just install the app, you open the app, and the app will ask you for permissions, because it requires some permissions, of course, from your phone. You click on the OK and we are going to provide the permissions that are required. Now, this will be different on your phone, the, the way that it's displayed. This is how it is displayed on, on the emulator on Bluestacks, but it should be quite similar. Just have to provide the permissions and then you click to go back to the app. After you provide the permissions, it should be working perfectly. As you can see, we can click, we can enable multiple modes. It should be working fine. Now, the first thing that we want to try is the fishing. The way that the fishing works is that you just click on the same button over and over again and you can click on the same position as well so that it skips the animation once you finally get the fish and you can continue fishing. So this is exactly what we are going to do with the auto clicker. Just go back to the app and you can see their single target and multi-target mode. For this specific situation of the fishing, we only need single target because we are only clicking always on the same place. So let's enable the single target and we go back to our Pokeland Legends. We just wait a little bit so that uh, the game just decides to activate. There it is. You can see it's a, it's blue. It's a little bit hard to see, but we activated like a little thing, a little circle, and it was blended in with the ocean, so it was a little bit hard to see, but we have to drag the circle to the fish button. Now, I like to put it on the bottom of the fish button, and after this we can go to the settings and we can see the interval is 300 milliseconds. I personally like to put 100 milliseconds, and you have different amounts of things that you can do. For example, if you want to just run this for five minutes, you can do that, or if you want to run for a specific amount of clicks, but I don't really suggest that. When it's fishing on Pokeland, basically you just want to use all of your baits, so just go with the first option. It's the best with the thing that you can do. Click on the play button and it's working. And you will just leave your game like this and it should be working fine. It will be going all through your fish. Just remember, put the circle in the bottom of the, the fishing button because if you put it in the middle, it might not work. Okay, let's stop the fishing, let's do something else. I'm going to remove this from my screen and we are going for the Relic Store. Now, the Relic Store is something that you will probably need to do every day on your account. You need to just refresh the store and buy like all the items once again. And you have to refresh the store like 10 times, 16 times a day. It gets to a point where you have enough currency to refresh the store like 16 times every day so that you get the most benefit for your account. This can be a little bit saturating to do every single day, so we are going to automate it with a macro. So we go back to our auto clicker and this time we are going to select multi-targets mode. We enable this and we go back to the game. On the relic store, the first thing that you do, you purchase everything, okay, so that we can start a loop. We need to select, we need to create an action that can repeat itself over and over again without messing up with anything in your game. But now, for example, imagine that I add two actions, one for the refresh button and the other one for the OK button. Now, each action has a cooldown. If we click on top of the circle, it says the amount of time that it will pass between clicking on one button and clicking the other button. 300 milliseconds, it's very small because 
the game needs to process the game is processing the refreshing it's processing the the purchasing in the store so you will do this according to your device and according to your internet what i like to do is that i closed the auto clicker again and i'm going directly to the settings of the multi-targets mode over here we are going to set a default and i'm going to put the default for 800 milliseconds it might be a little bit too much but it's to be safe that your auto clicker when it's actually purchasing things from the store it purchases everything and doesn't leave anything behind so it's just fine we leave it at 800 milliseconds and we enable it and we go back into the game and now it's 800 milliseconds between each click refresh buying the thing and buying everything and we are going to set this up right now so first of all we are going to click on one and you can see already 800 milliseconds delay nice we click on refresh so we are going to drag a new circle over here and we click on ok and now it's the same thing we click number three to buy this item number four on the confirm button and it will be everything it will be always the same until we are back on the refresh button again so four and then we have five six going down there to the refresh button seven on the silver powder eight down there on the refresh button nine on the middle uh thing 10 down there, 11 on the right, 12 down there, 13 on the most right, and now, and now where is the other thing? Um, I need to click, and 14 down here. Now you can see that now we have like two pages of buttons. We can see, oh wow, wait, we can actually, yeah, 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 we can actually see the pages of multiple actions that we have. And I'm actually going to buy everything and we are going to run an experiment. Now, we can go to the settings and actually write this configuration. We are going to change the name and we are going to type relic store. Press OK and we are going to run a specific amount of times. Now, in my situation, maybe I just want this to run 10 times and I'm going to save it. Now, once I save it, every time that I want to run this in the future, it will be available for me to run. I will show you guys that in a little bit. But first of all, let's see if this is actually working, right? We click on the play button, it will refresh the store and it starts purchasing everything automatically for us. And this should be the last one? No, it's one more. Pretty sure it was one more because I was doing this before the video, of course, to test it around. This one should be the last one. Should be the 10 times, right? It stops. It stops. Okay. So it did 10 time a refresh on the store and it did the 10 time purchases, as you guys can see. Now, imagine that you want to use this again in the future. I'm actually going to close it. And in the future, you just have to go back to your application. We have the auto clicker. We have the multi targets mode. When you click on enable, now it has your configuration set up. It has the relic store over there. You just need to click on it. Boom. It loads in and it's beautiful. All you have to do is do the same thing over again. You buy everything from the store and you just run. If you want to run like different amounts of times, you can actually just do it and you run this again. This is simple and easy. Now let's talk about the computer part. Imagine that you are playing on Bluestacks, which is I am playing on right now. And we have on the right side, we actually have a macro manager. If I open it, we, you, you guys can already see I already have some macros, actually for the fishing, actually for the relic, some monsterized stuff and a random macro that I don't even remember what it was anymore. So I'm going to delete it. Imagine that I want to actually record a new macro. What am I going to do? Press on record. This is even easier than using an application. You just click on the refresh. You do this manually. Listen, you are doing this manually. This is actually recording your actions. Once you are finally done, you close and this has the setting button. You can repeat the action a specific amount of times. You can repeat for a specific duration. You can repeat forever until you stop it. It's the same logic as the normal uh, thing. But the difference is this is you clicking. This is you recording your actions. And now, for example, I'm going to discard the changes. I'm going to do just 
video relic store and if you remember the settings this is only going to repeat one time and i'm going to click on it now it takes a, a while to start why because i was talking while i was recording the moment you record that actually records also the time that you are taking between actions and this is actually what it's doing boom it stopped it's over like on bluestacks or or uh, whatever uh, android emulator that you are using usually they have this macro manager and it's much easier for everything now how do i do it on the fishing because on the fishing it might it might seem a little bit different if we are going on the fishing okay let's go to the team fishing and on the fishing remember that we need to click on the bottom of the fish so we are going to re click on record a new macro right and we are going to click 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 on the bottom of the fishing for for a little bit let's just say 10 seconds maybe 10 seconds now we stop the macro we are going to this one that we just created fishing video and on the settings we are going to change this so that it only stops when we tell it to stop right and we are going to change the playback speed changing the playback speed you can put this like five times so that it's much faster than what you are usually clicking and not just that it's also to kill the dead moments like you have like one second when you are like you click on press recording and then you actually start clicking on the fishing and then you stop the recording so there's like those dead uh, seconds or dead milliseconds that you are pressing on recording and stopping the recording so this will also help on that we just press that five times speed now look at the speed that this is clicking this should not crush your game don't worry and Honestly, if it crashes your game, just put it a little bit slower. For me, it works just fine. So it's awesome. It's awesome. It's just fishing over here. We, you don't need to do anything yourself. Just fishes for you. It's awesome. And that's it. That's about it for today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.